Okay, so if you've been around ClickBank at all or experienced any gurus online, you've probably heard about Gravity Score. You've either been told to only promote offers with high Gravity Score, avoid the offers with low or no Gravity Score, kind of things like that. And what we're gonna do today is really just demystify what Gravity Score is, how you can leverage it, and really figure out how to use Gravity Score for your affiliate promotions. So let's dive in. I'm gonna share my screen here. And yeah, so this is the ClickBank Marketplace. Um, and the base, best way to kind of highlight gravity score is just to not even search for anything. We're just gonna push search. And this is just gonna give me a stack rank. Um, defaults by rank. The next one down that most people search for is gravity. Right, and the gravity is just this little number right here. Right, can we see this? So um, right, the top offer research has a gravity of 360, next one is a gravity of 349. Now it's important to know that gravity is just a arbitrary algorithm number that ClickBank assigns. Like 360 versus 349 really doesn't mean anything other than it will rank one above the other. Okay, so um, keep that in mind. But what is gravity trying to tell me here? Gravity is trying to tell me that more affiliates are having success with research, or having sales with research, I should say, than Proven, or Steel Bite Pro, or Custom Keto Diet, right, and so on and so forth. So compared to, say, Rank, which will give me similar but slightly different. See, now Proven is outranking research in this example. Um, rank is gonna be telling me more about like how much is being sold, or kind of the volume of sales, whereas Gravity is how many affiliates are promoting. Why is that important? If I'm a newer affiliate or even a proven affiliate, I kind of don't want to waste my time with unproven offers if no one's had success with it, in theory, right? Now, this is a bit of a double-edged sword because the offers on the first page of the marketplace with this high gravity are likely more competitive than offers further down, right? So while these are all proven, you know, offer the gravity scores in the two and three hundreds, um, there's a good chance, right, if I'm promoting Research or Steel Bar Pro or Custom Keto Diet or any of these other ones, that if I have a smaller list or something like that, or if I can't spend as much on Facebook as other people, that a lot of these might be hard to compete with because they're more exposed to the marketplace. It doesn't mean I shouldn't try. It's just something to be mindful of, right? Which, now if I go to say page seven or five, let's start with five of the marketplace, I see my Sheds plans in here. I see Carly Cinderella Solution in here. The Lost Ways, right? These are some killer offers. Back Pain Breakthrough, um, Pelvic Floor Core System, Alex's offer, right? So these are all great offers. I know personally that convert very well and are converting at scale, sometimes on par with page one offers from a daily sales perspective. But why are they so far down the marketplace, quote unquote, on page five, you know, with a gravity score of 71 compared to 300? Well, it just means that less affiliates have picked them up. Right, but they're still running big volume because big affiliates have promoted them. So they're proven, very proven in these cases. Um, moon reading, that's a great offer, gosh. Um, right, so it just means they're less exposed to a big chunk of affiliates, which actually means they might convert better for you because they've had less exposure in the overall market, right? Not the marketplace, just the market when it looks at like, um, you know, exposure on Facebook, exposure to affiliate email lists, things like that. So this middle ground of like, you know, pages four through nine, right? There can be some great sleepers in here, just looking at the overall marketplace. And that's how I like to use the marketplace, right? It's like, okay, these are the top ones. If I was doing any kind of like offer funnel hacking, I wanted to see what was really working and quote unquote crushing it. I might stop with the top, you know, six offers and really see how they're structuring their pages and their hooks and things like that. Um, but all of these are really proven too, down on page five and seven and things like that. And again, um, gravity is just an arbitrary number. It doesn't mean that 71 affiliates are promoting compared to 72 up here. It just means that based on how we've built it, um, this one has slightly more and has had slightly, slightly more success than the next one below it. Um, something to keep in mind too with gravity is it's on a rolling 12 week cycle, right? With more weight towards the more recent sales. So sales from yesterday count more toward than sales from last week, things like that. Um, so you'll start to see your gravity dip if your sales start to lag compared to 12 weeks ago and things like that, right? So um, it is 
that's why you won't see an offer just stick at the top forever. Um, while, although Resurge and you know Get Proven have definitely been there for months and months because they've continued to have good success for basically off 2020. So again, Gravity can be very helpful because it helps you stack rank based on performance on what's working. What I just want you to be mindful of is that offers further down the marketplace are still working, right? I, I personally know a lot of these offer owners on page five, for example, and they're good offers. They convert very well. Let's look at uh, yeah, Patriot Wholesale Club. We're down on page eight now. Now, now I'm getting to some territory where I don't know a lot of these offers. I don't see them on, like, say, the leaderboard we have internally. Oh, Fat Burning Kitchen's great, though, right? So Walter Freedom System, Patriot Wholesale Club, all good offers. So I just want you to be mindful of how the gravity score kind of works and how you can be smarter in using it. Um, because, again, it's not just page one is the only offers to promote. It doesn't even mean they're the highest converting offers on page one. In theory, they are because they have the most scale, but they're not inherently out converting other offers further down for your traffic or for your list. So it's worth testing offers that are on page, you know, four to six maybe, or four to eight maybe, and see if they outconvert other offers because maybe they're less tested, maybe there's less exposure, um, and you can really kind of dial it in and start to scale it up with some of these less, well, they're, kind of, they're not less proven. <laughs> they just have less affiliates promoting it, but they still have plenty of affiliates and plenty of traction on these offers. So. Again, Gravity Score, it's a ranking system used based on an algorithm metric. It is not the by all end means of stack ranking, it's just a way to stack rank. And this is kind of what Gravity Score is and how it works, and so you can be smarter in your affiliate promotions. So if this is valuable for you and you're newer to internet marketing and to affiliate marketing as a whole, I really want you to go check out Spark by ClickBank.com. We'll have a link in the description below. It's Gosh, one of the best places I've seen, um, and get, granted I'm biased because it's ClickBank, but we've really culminated a lot of general knowledge around what internet marketing is, different ways to leverage it. It's a great intro course into affiliate marketing um, and it can really get you started on the right foot and kind of you know, cut out a lot of the noise that's out there in the marketplace. So again, check out Spark by ClickBank.com, link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe for more weekly videos from Affiliated by ClickBank. Happy scanning.